Hey, what's going on, everybody? So a new asteroid, asteroid 2023BU, was just discovered on January 21st. Uh, it's about nearly 30 feet in diameter, and it was discovered on Saturday, January 21st, by astronomer Janatoly um, Borisov at the Margo Observatory in Crimea. It's going to pass by Earth at its closest on Thursday, January 26th at 4.17 p.m. Eastern Time. That's 21.17 hours GMT time. Uh, it'll be less than 3% the average um, Earth-Moon distance at an altitude of just 2,178 miles or 3,500 kilometers above the Earth's surface. For comparison, our geostationary satellites are, um, have an altitude of about 22,200 feet or 35,800 kilometers. So this thing is passing 10 times closer than some of our geostationary satellites we have in geostationary orbit. This is why I stress so much and why I got so angry about why how they're diverting money from Planetary Defense Fund for more sample return or some other missions, this is important because they're finding these all the time. Here's a, a look at uh, an image they provided NASA, and I'm going to take you show you something. You know, I usually do updates on the asteroids, and I'll show NASA's next five asteroid approaches. Um, I'll refresh this, and you'll see it's not even listed yet because we have three today, another two tomorrow, and there may be even more than two when, once this is updated. Uh, if there's not too many, it, um, the, this asteroid they just found may be added to this list. However, let's take a look here at the small body database lookup. Again, this is the name of it. Now, I'm going to show you the odds. See here, it says Earth impact risk. For the most part, most of the asteroids we look up, you don't see this little area right here. I usually put that when there's always a concern, right? So let me just to give you more of a visual, and we're going to look at the orbit viewer in a second. LD, I changed it from AU. AU is astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the sun, which is about 93 million miles. LD is a lunar distance, 238,000 miles from the Earth to the moon. I choose this. It'll show you simply, uh, uh, in a much more simpler um, uh, tone. Here, let me click on nominal distance. Now look at this. When I click here, the closest it's going to be to Earth is going to be, it says January 27 at 26. So I guess that's about... Um, 1226 a.m., but that would be universal time. Um, that date, we're going to, um, I think the, I think that's been updated. So that means that space.com has it incorrect and it should be approximately, I don't know, around 8 p.m., somewhere around there, um, Eastern time. I'll update that in the description once I get that uh, taken care of. But here we go. Look at this. 0 0.026. That's how close. That, that's super close. That I mean, I can't even stress how close that is. But let's take this further. And let's go back up to where it said Earth impact risk. Let's click there. And right here, impact probability. The odds are 1 in 500. That's insanely low. Usually you'll see 1 in 100,000 is like the low one. Sometimes you'll see 1 in 50,000. But usually it's 1 in 5 million, 1 in 10 million, something like that. And this percentage is always at 99%, always. So don't let this fool you right here. All right? It says 99.8% .8 chance the asteroid will miss the Earth. Now... The scientists, the astronomers are saying that it should miss the Earth. Right? The only concerns I have is gravitational pull. 
Um, we'll see what happens. It's really close. 2,000 miles is, again, I, I, I sound like a broken record. It's insanely close. And let's just take a look at the orbit. Um, not this one. Right here. Let's go into this map. Let's select that. And now what I'm going to do is up here, I leave it on an hour because usually it's set to go forward by a day, but I'll switch it to an hour and then click. So here's our moon. Here's the asteroid 2023 BU and of course our Earth. Now, I know that may look like a big miss and the more I zoom in, farther away it looks because we're still talking about 2,000 miles. But again, we have where this is. I'll show you something. Let's zoom out. Let me try to turn this a little bit. It's hard to control this. So anyway, those geo, um, geostationary satellites I was talking about, they would be out here. In this area like this, where the tip of my mouse is going. We have satellites like that all along the equator around the planet. And they the monitor our atmosphere because each one gets to see about 40% of the planet. So that's why we have them around. But this is where our satellites are. And look at this thing. Anyhow. I, I just want to share that with you because I always like to update you all on this stuff. Um, hopefully it just safely passes by. However, if you haven't yet, turn on the notifications, all right? If you're not subscribed, you may want to subscribe. Um, I'm working on something right now on Apophis, you know, the 1100 foot asteroid that's going to pass by insanely close in 2029, that they're still worried about. I'm working on a, a nice video on that. It's going to be informative. Um, so stay tuned. Subscribe and turn on those notifications. And if you like, hit the like button. Or not, share this video out. Take care, folks.